So I'm going to start by folding my paper corner to corner. I'm going to do a valley fold. Line it up really good there. Okay, so when I open it up, that fold should be down, pointing away from me. It's a valley fold. Now I'm going to do a kite fold. So I'm going to take this side that's pointed towards me, take it from the outside to the inside. So I'm going to fold it in, line it up really good. point, fold it, then I'm going to do the same thing with the adjacent side. The other side that points towards me, I'm going to take from the outside to the inside. Get it lined up. Really good. There we go. Okay, so now you can see why it's called a kite fold. It looks like a kite. Now I'm going to take these inside folds and I'm going to fold them along the outside. Okay, I'm going to start the top here, but I want to be really sure that my peak lines up down here before I crease it all. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold it back out. Okay. Make sure this is lined up really nice before I fold it over. Okay, so that affects how nice my peacock will turn out later. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to take all those folds that I just did and I'm going to fold them back in. Okay, so I'm doing another kite fold. This outside edge is going to go to this inside. But I'm going to bring all those other folds over with it. So it's going to kind of look like I'm making a fan. Again, I've got to make sure all these pieces down here are going to line up really nice and folded really good. Taking my time. Sometimes fast folds become messy folds. And messy folds make messy origami. Here we go. Okay, so all these fold up. I'm going to flip my paper back over. I'm going to fold the long skinny end up to meet my tip. Folds it over here. I'm going to do a zigzag fold, so I'm going to zig it, zag it back down. But I'm keeping just a little bit of paper there, kind of about the width of my thumb. If you're using smaller than a nine by nine sheet of paper, you know it's not going to be quite that big, but a good a good piece. Now I'm going to fold this over so that my zigzag fold is tucked inside. So I'm back to having these on the outside. I'm going to be careful to keep this lined up. Okay, this is where the peacock gets a little tricky. So my zigzag fold is inside. I'm going to pinch above my zigzag and below my zigzag. And I'm going to pull it out. So 
I'm going to make this piece in my right hand side, I'm going to fold it out to make a 90 degree angle. Okay? So, you know, you, you need to kind of keep this piece here, but you don't want it so tight that you can't pull this back out. So you want it to be at a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to pinch it down, making sure my sides both kind of you know, kept that the angle nice and crisp. Okay, I'm going to do another 90 degree angle, but I'm going to kind of flip it inside out while I do that. So the short piece that I just made, I'm going to kind of open it up. I want this mountain fold, okay, it's a mountain that comes up towards you, to be a valley fold. I want it to kind of fold down and, and inside. Okay, so I'm going to kind of get it started here. Can I get it to lay in? Okay. So, okay, here's my piece, I've opened it up, I want to make another 90 degree angle, I want this, this piece here is going to bend back up, but to do that I have to make this bend into a valley fold. Okay, so I, I have the top, that's lined up really nice, I'm going to go ahead and crease that. Then I'm going to be kind of careful just down here. Be sure that I get it lined up really good before I make those folds. Okay. Okay. Now I need to make the head for my peacock. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm just going to kind of open this a little bit and pinch him back down, just a little bit back down for the head. And then I'm, I'm going to make this become a mountain fold again. I'm going to fold it back over. Then kind of pull his head out to the angle I want it to be at. Okay. Then all you have to do is kind of pull out your feathers. Oops. And there you have a peacock.